Hello, today we're going to talk about how to pick a PoE extender. The PoE extender can boost the PoE signal up to 100 meters without violating the IEEE 802.3 protocol. In my previous video, what is a PoE extender? We talked about how the PoE extender works. Today, we're going to see how to pick a right PoE extender. First to consider is the distance. The PoE extender can extend up to 100 meters. What about I only want to extend 50? Yeah, sure, we can still use it. But I highly recommend you place the extender at the middle point of two devices. This way, we can reach maximum efficiency. Next to consider is the power budget. There is always power loss during transmission. The longer the distance, the larger the loss. Say we're using a PoE Plus device. The power budget is around 30 watts. After, the first, after going through the first extender, there's only 25 watts left. So once it reaches a 200 meter destination, there's only going to be 15 watts. There's a solution. We can use these two extenders, which are capable, compatible with the new IEE 802.3 BT PoE equipment. The new equipment can make sure we have a 25 watt, watts power at the end of 200 meters. Our personal purpose is also a great factor. If we're just going to use one edge device at the end of the extension, you can just use a simple one input, one output extender. This can just easily extend the length, but if we're going to have like two IP cameras on the other end, I highly recommend this one input, two output extender. This can just work like a PoE switch. It can link to two edge devices. It has two ports and we also has rubber bolts in case one of the ports is vacant. Last but not least is the bandwidth. The one input to output extender can only reach 100 megabytes per second. While the two, one input to output extender can reach up to 1000 megabytes per second. If we're, our, if we're using our network just for IP cameras, the one input, one output extender is enough. But if we're using it to extend our main network system, we're going to have to use the one input to output extender. In my next video, I'll demonstrate how to connect four long-range IP cameras within a thousand feet. That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments, please post them at the section below. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.